Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable the SSD trim function. So the trim function basically allows Windows to communicate to the SSD what data page needs to be deleted. And with the trim enabled, SSDs do not have to delete an entire block of data, and so they only have to delete a required page. So it would increase the speed of the writing data on SSD drives by enabling it, and it would generally increase the overall lifespan of the SSD as well. So generally speaking, usually you want to enable it for an SSD. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now the commands you're going to run are going to depend whether you have an NTFS file system or an REFS file system. So if you want to enable it, let's just start with the NTFS. I'm going to have in the description of my video four different commands. Again, that will correspond to either enabling or disabling an NTFS file system or an REFS file system. Most of you would know if you had an REFS file system. It's kind of one of those things, but we're going to go ahead and enable it. So go ahead and copy the command in the description of my video that says enable trim with NTFS. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. Hit enter on the keyboard. So the operation takes effect immediately. No reboot is required. So a very straightforward process there, guys. And then if you want to disable it, I'd have a command right under that. And then basically, I mean, the only difference between the two commands is if it has a zero, which would enable, and a one, which would disable it at the end. So you see the zero here. If you just type the exact same thing with a one, you would be in disabling it. And the same logic would hold true as well for the REFS file system, except instead of saying NTFS here, it would say REFS. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do apologize for the help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.